Okay. So recently, red leaf rimfire and in range rimfire have challenged each other to uh, one was hitting a tennis ball offhand at 100 yards. That was red leaf rimfire. And then Dan stepped it up by shooting an egg offhand at 100 yards. And uh, it's amazing. Both of those guys totally blow my mind with their uh, skill. And I've always thought, wouldn't it be interesting, you know, say, at an Olympic level, <clears throat> if they had, you know, let's say in the 100 yard dash, if they had somebody normal racing beside them, you know, like a decent high school track athlete or some dad who still thinks he's got it. Um, just to show how much better these people are. So with that in mind, I was thinking, I'm gonna join this contest, but I'm gonna be the normal guy and I'm gonna show you basically how good these guys are by how average I am. And that's, I feel like I am like an average shooter at best. Um, but I've got a pretty decent rifle to work with. As you can see, I'm just putting on my aperture sights today and I'll have to set it up tomorrow. I'll get it uh, dialed in. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this at 100 yards offhand shooting. And I will basically record it until I hit it. We'll see how long it takes for an average person to do what you guys are doing for a shot. All right? See you tomorrow. Right. We're on? We're on. Okay. Zero for one. <laughs> Start again. There we go. Got it. Ah. <laughs> Notice. Oh, you, I thought you meant leave in the competition. Leave on the rail. Nice. Nobody will notice. One more for the camera. Not yep. only is he pretty, I love it. Huh? So would you consider yourself an average shooter or above average shooter? I'd say below average. Below average. I have good days and I have bad days. Yeah. Well. This whole Dan and his egg thing and the offhand shooting's really got me going. At a hundred yards, right? Right. That's well that's what I'm shooting now. But that's more like an ostrich egg. It's okay. It's okay. It's good to see what a normal person can do. <laughs> okay, Brett. So what do we think of Dan's 100-yard egg challenge? Dan's 100-yard egg challenge is a fool's errand. <laughs> right? And, it's... and Dan's a fool. I think it was special I effects. I like him, though. Yeah. I, I don't know if he really did it, though. It could be just special effects. I think it was... Oh, yeah. CGI. 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 So, so I didn't do an egg, but we have a six inch piece of steel down here. And I'll be honest with you, it wasn't my first shot. <laughs> I went through a whole box of ammo and couldn't tell you. How many times do you think I hit it? It's not It's not true. He hit it like on what? Was it the second or third shot? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you put a box of ammo down here, but you, you hit it second or third shot. Okay, I'll take that. Anyways, we'll come up and see how... You know what? Actually, looking at the bullet marks on this thing i think that we could have hung an egg up there i'm gonna switch the camera around I think you could have. yeah i should have taped an egg to this see this is about the same size as an egg yeah see if i would have taped an egg there and there and there and there <laughs> i could have got the egg if it had been an ostrich egg you'd have hit it every time right there we That's go also we have to show that we were at the 100 yard mark right
You're on camera, Brett.